was the yeah, put your back into it. Something. What was it? You can do it. You can do it if you put your back into it. I'm Casey, this is Mike. Hi. Right. We started out just with a real simple thing, like just making sure you look at your partner so you have good posture. It makes you have good posture when you check in with your partner at the beginning and end of the patterns. Uh, right. smile. Swing out. I'm not looking there, but then I check back with my partner right there. Then we talked about like how to loosen up our body. We took a little styling from Frankie Manning. We do not suggest you do this ad nauseum, but every once in a while when you want to conjure the spirit of Frankie, get a little bit of the shoulder shrug while you're doing the basic steps. It makes you look real loose and relaxed. It kind of gives that real fun vibe, right? Woo. So shoulder shrug was another thing we had. Then we worked, uh, well, we skipped to the rock step here real quick. We talked about just our basic rock step and making sure that we're doing something with this. Talk about keeping your hands kind of open, not in like a fist position. Definitely don't curve. Curve. This always looks bad, period. Always looks bad. Unless you're going to make up. Unless. Yeah. But otherwise, yes. Then not, then not <laughs> But we have this, I just said, attach your right arm to your left leg leads. See how it goes right with it. But keep your head looking at your follower. Boom. Followers, we have the same principle, just left arm, right foot. Good. And then we had a circle where we added a little bit of styling. We talked about relaxing this arm in the basic circle so that it has a little bit of bounce to it when we move around in our basic circle. But then we had a little bit of outlet styling to it where we brought the arm up. We did a tuck turn that we changed and we went her hip, my hip, around. And we talked to the followers. Followers. Neither of those are left in so you can do them at both. Woo! Thanks, guys.